So we are here in Radhamahan Samvad, 8th chapter, Madalila. Mahaprabhu is asking questions and Radhamananda is giving answers to him. kinds of shravan things we can hear the best thing to hear is hear the rasa kata this is the topmost to hear what the dealings amorous pastimes of krishna and the gopis to hear this is the best best thing of all Okay, and what is the best object of worship? Be best object of worship are the names of Radha and Krishna. Especially in Kali Yuga, amongst all the names of Bhagavan, the best name is Hare Krishna. The jivas of this world, they are endeavoring to attain sense gratification and liberation. So what is the destination for these people? They will get the body of trees. So the jivas who have desire to enjoy, again and again they have to get uh, Stavadeha means gross bodies. If they, yeah. they have to continue coming again and again this material world, in human body, or in trees' body, or in animals' body. Again and again they have to come. Or also maybe because of pious deeds, they go to Swarga Loka and they are able to enjoy Swarga happiness. 
But when that past deed is over, then they have to come back to this material world. So people even go to Satya Loka, the place of Brahmaji. So amongst the 14 planetary systems, they go to Satya Loka. And then they enjoy there. Or maybe also they go to inferior planets. So there are seven planets, planetary systems inferior and seven superior. What are the seven locus? So the seven up. So from Triviloka up seven. And seven also Atal Vital. Sutal, Talatal, Mahatal and Rasatal, Patal. So in this way, in this material world, if you go to inferior planets, also you have to uh, enjoy. You enjoy, and also superior planets, also you enjoy. Bog. Or you go to Naraka, to hell. Where is the hell, Naraka? Where is it? In Patal Loka, the devotee said, Gurudev said, no. Pa Naraka is called Jamaloi, like the place of Nanda Maharaj. Ah. So, wandering this material world. Hindi, Hindi is not working, they're saying. But you see, there's no one watching, you can see some problem. You see, there's no viewers. So, okay, thank you Prabhu, I told her. Okay, so, Gurudev said, Naraka is the place of Jamma Raj. So now Gurudev is in the verse, that verse about the cuckoo birds, 258. 258, 8th chapter, Madalila. Those who are devoid of altars and antomelos are like the crows that suck the juice from the bitter fruits of Nimba tree of knowledge. Whereas those who enjoy melos are like the cuckoos who eat the buds of the mango tree of love of Godhead. You know, the mango tree has flowers and fruits, really, uh, with nice um, fragrance and smell. So, they, the devotees, they relish this, like cuckoo birds. So, I told that we should do have rasagga. Rasagga means we must have the knowledge at least about the rasa. So, what are the ingredients of rasa? There are 49 ingredients. And yesterday we discussed about the 49 ingredients of rasa. But those jivas were unfortunate. What do they do? They are just um, acquiring dry knowledge. For example, Uddhava was like so, he had so much knowledge. Who could be higher than Uddhava in knowledge? Uddhava had, like he brought his basket full of knowledge to Braja. He came to Braja with a, with a basket full of knowledge. He came from Mathura to Brindava with a basket full of knowledge. Then he dis wanted to discuss again with the gopis, and the gopis they threw away his basket and threw his basket of knowledge in the Jamuna River. And his basket of knowledge was flowing, flowing, flowing. Came to Allahabad, then to Bengal, his basket of knowledge, Calcutta, then went to the ocean and went to Jagannathapuri in, and merged in the ocean of salt. So until nowadays, when you do the parikrama, there's a place there called 
ज्ञान गुडली वट इज गुडली गुडली इज अन आउट थॉर्न अपार्ट गुडली मीन्स अ ब्लैंकेट फुल ऑफ होल्स लाइक देर इज नो यूज ऑफ इट फॉर इट बिकॉज आई रेडी कम्प्लीटली वर्न आउट एंड फुल ऑफ होल्स यू नो लाइक थॉर अपार्ट थॉर्न अपार्ट लाइक दिस सो सो उदव केम ऑफ दिस कैंड ऑफ नॉलेज सो उदव इज अ महा ज्ञान ही हैज सो मच नॉलेज फ्रॉम द स्क्रिप्चर एंड He is the advisor of Krishna. He is counselor of Krishna. If you have knowledge, you can give some advice. So he advises Bhagavan. Imagine this. Udav is nothing less. Like he is really high personality, high class. So he had come after doing PhD in all the subject matters, like all the majors, I don't know, like all the subjects. Vishnam Prabharo Mantra, Vishnam Prabharo means is the so prominent in the Vishnu dynasty. Everyone honors him. So Vishnam Prabharo, and then his mantra also. Mantra means advisor of Krishna, advisor. So sometimes Krishna asks for some advice from Udava. So there two letters arise for Krishna. One letter from Judhisthira Maharaj, and also the kings imprisoned, like arrested by the Jarasandha king. Also wrote a letter to Krishna. See. And in the letter of the Judhisthi Maharaj, he wrote, "I want to do a Rajasujagya, and I will not do anything without you, Krishna. Okay? Yes. I would do only in your presence. Why do the cities call Haridas? So there are three Haridasas." Because Judhisthira has so much nishta loyalty in Krishna, instead of this, so he wrote a letter to Krishna, Judhisthira Maharaj. Hey Krishna, without you, I will not do anything. I won't do anything. I want to do perform a Rajasuya Jagya, but without you, I will not do it. Call great kings and do this great sacrifice, but without you, I will not do it. So you tell me when can you come, then I will do it. So this is nishta. What is nishta? Nishta. What is nishta? Nishta. Without the person, you cannot work or do anything. So guru nishta, nam nishta. Only in your presence, I can do the things uh, like. Uh, when you say uh, in his presence, a kanta come ho jayega. Can you translate that? A kanta is there. A kant kante with Krishna. For this regard, he told. He he wrote this letter. Jai kant for whom one writes such a letter. But without your presence, I will not do anything. Aapke anubhuti mein, aapke pusiti mein. Only in your presence. I'll do the things. So this name Haridas is not giving for anyone. Like your name is not Haridas, my name is also not Haridas. Your name is not Haridas. So his name is Haridas for a specific reason. Judasir is really like he has this nishta in Krishna. Bhagavata explains there are three Haridasas. One is your Judasir Maharaj, Udhav. And Giriraj Govardhan. So Judisthi, he is not an ordinary person. But Judisthi, he committed one small mistake. Small mistake. People ask also about this. Look, 
When he was playing the dice, playing the dice, God was not present when he played the dice. Bhagavan should be there in the presence also when he played the dice with the Kauravas. Isn't it? Very beautiful kata this. So you see the fruit, he had to, uh, like how to say, to suffer the consequences. But of course, he's a Mahabhagavad. Everything is just for the Leelas. Leela Shakti is making them make all these activities because of the Leelas that must take place. Actually, Judith doesn't do anything without Krishna. But when he played the dice, he should have also spoken to Krishna about it. So, Duryodhana told my uncle Shakuni will play for me, like he will roll the dice. So, Judith could, could also have said, ah, on my behalf, Krishna will also roll the dice. He could have said that, isn't it? He could have called, invited Krishna also to play along, isn't it? But he, but he didn't, so... And, you know, the Shakuni had um, many tricks. So Shakuni, he was saying, Oh, my nephew, you can do anything. He told Durjodana, I have only one fear, Vasudev. Shakuni told, I, I don't fear anyone. Everyone is just like... Everyone is in playing in my hands. Everything is like under my control, except only one person I'm afraid is Vasudev. Vasudev? Krishna? I'm afraid of him. Shakuni would say this. So this was the small mistake of Judhisthi Maharaj. But if this wasn't for this, Mahabharata would not take place. And also the glories of Draupadi would not manifest in this world. Gita Kata wouldn't also be manifested in this world if it weren't for this. Actually, all the Kata of Mahabharat, the origin, uh, the main goal is what? Actually, just to manifest the Bhagavad Gita, the glories of the Gita in this world. The fifth Veda, Mahabharata. But the essence is the Shamad Bhagavad Gita, the essence of the Mahabharata. If you take out the Bhag Bhagavad Gita, Mahabharata is nothing, no, no special. Only fight, war, this and that, nothing. Without the Bhagavad Gita. Anyway, I was saying, look. So Jyotishthi Maharaj wrote a letter to Krishna. He told him, I want to perform a Radha Suja Yaga. This uh, sacri sacrifice of the kings, no? some, some celebration for the kings, some sacrifice. But I will only do in your presence. So you tell me when you can come. So this letter arrived for Krishna. And Krishna also got an, another letter. A letter written by the kings who were arrested by Jarasandha in his prison. These kings who were like arrested and they were in the like in jail. Jarasandha, because what happened? Jarasandha he used to worship Shiva and he got one benediction from Shiva. If he would sacrifice one hundred kings, one hundred kings sacrificing one hundred kings, Jarasandha would be able to like Jarasandha had to defeat them in the war and then imprison them, like uh, arrest them, and then sacrifice these hundred kings. Uh, then he will be undefeatable. If he will do this, then nobody will be able to defeat Jarasandha, never ever. He will be like undefeatable. undefeatable. So, so these kings were in the prison of Jarasandha. They wrote a letter to Krishna. And there were 99 kings already. Just one king more was needed for them all to be sacrificed. Then when this last king would come, all of them, they would be killed. Just like people killed the goats in front of Devi. Do you understand? So Krishna told Udav, okay, I got two letters, what should I do? The kings, they, they are not against me, but also they are not like 
on my side, they are like neutral to me. All these kings that are in the prison, these kings, who's, who, which kings? In, th that were in the prison of Jarasandha, they are not against me. But they are also not on my side. They are like neutral. But I got the, a letter from them. But Judasi is my friend. Shastra explains. First you should help to whom? Your friends. Politics also, we can see this in the politics. So the money that's coming from the government. So the politicians are always singing, who is in my party? Who is in my group? So they give some special money for those who are in the same party and for the others who are in the against party, they don't get so much or they nothing. Okay, maybe they give a little bit for the antagonistic party. They give a little bit for the antagonistic party, but for those who are in their own group, party, they give like 99% of all the funds. In Bengal, this is going on in Bengal. How did Mamata, Mamata, the uh, governor of Bengal, no? you know, this Mamata, she's caught, the, she's like in her position in her asan, like this. This is what I want to say. So I want. So Swami Bhagavan told Udhav. So tell me what to do. Give me some advice. Of course, God knows already what He's going to do. There's no one higher than Him, higher than Krishna. But still, Krishna is so humble. He told Udhav, Udhav, please decide for me. What should I do? Then Udhav gave a beautiful decision. Udhav told Prabhu, okay, it's true that Judasthi Maharaj is your friend. This is true. He's even a family member because he's the son of Kunti. Kunti is Buaji, auntie of Krishna. So he's a friend and also your family member. If you see in this perspective, you should uh, go for judice but then Nandava told look but you can do that later with him but to, to kill Jarasand and, and free all those kings you see all these kings that you're gonna deliver from the prison they will be grateful for you to you they will be so grateful to you. They will accept like very. Uh, they will be. Uh, they appreciate appreciate what you have done. Will do for them. So they will run out after you with your carrying your flag. Like they. Will. So when you go to the Raja Suyaga, all the kings will come with you, and your goddess will be more even more manifested in the world. First of all, it's very good to kill a very bad person like Jarasandha. To deliver kings also is your duty. Then when you go to the assembly, kingdom of uh, like to the kingdom of Judistir, all these kings will also come with you, and your pow prowess, your power, your glories will be even more manifested. So Krishna was really happy and like, oh, it would have an um, amazing decision, perfect, yeah. So that's why Krishna, he followed that, yeah. First he went and killed Jarasandha. Actually, no, anyway, Krishna arranged for the death of Jarasandha. This kata is very interesting. Actually, nobody could kill Jarasandha, Jarasandha actually. Nobody could kill him. Jarasandha, you know, when he was born, Jarasandha, actually he was born as two flesh pieces, you know? two pieces of flesh. Do you understand? When Jarasandha was born for his mother, his body was in two parts. Left and right side portion in half. Then his mother thought, what is this? Piece of meat? Two pieces of meat. So mother threw him in the jungle. But a witch, a witch, uh, sorry, not which demoness, uh, female demon was ca called Jara, and she came and she said, "Oh, this is for eating, piece of meat, of flesh." 
but then she just put together the two pieces of meat. Then the, the baby started crying, ha 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 ha, like the life came into the body. Then the Jara demon, she, female demon, she felt so much compassion and nobody can kill this boy. He will only die if someone again like a, uh, tears apart his body and throw in different direction. Like the right side of the body has to throw in the left direction and the left part of the body has to throw in the right direction. Only in this way he can kill. Otherwise, even if you if you tear him in the middle, again he will like join. His body will join again if you don't throw in sep in different uh, opposite direction uh, directions. So that's why Jarasana was really powerful. You know, nobody could kill. Him. That's why Kamso he made friends with him. How? Married his daughters because Jarasandha had two daughters, Osti and another Prapti. Jarasandha had two daughters, Osti and Prapti. Kamsa married his daughters and in this way they became friends a lot also. So this is described. So after the death of Kamsa, when Kamsa killed when Krishna killed the Kamsa, when Krishna killed Kamsa, two wives of Jarasandha, sorry, two wives of Kamsa, they came to their father Jarasandha and they complained about what Krishna had done, like killed their husband. That's why Jarasandha attacked seventeen times they he attacked Mathura and in the eighteenth time Krishna took all the Maturavasis and they went to Dwaraka in a beautiful palace in the middle of the ocean made by Vishwakarma. Dwaraka. So early in the morning the Maturavasis they woke up and they saw only water everywhere and waves, big waves of the ocean. So they say, where is the door? Dwaraka. Where is the door? because there was so much water everywhere that's why the name of the place became Darka like where is the door Darka but in Hindi it's like Dwarika where is the door so the name became Dwarka because they were searching for the door Anyway, Dwaraka or Dwarika. Krishna could kill him, of course, with the Sudhasana Chakra. He's God, come on. He could kill him. Bhagavan has the Sudarshan Chakra, he could do everything. But Bhagavan actually killed him by beam. Through Bhim, actually K Krishna killed Jarasandha, yeah. through Bhim. Bhim like so, tore his body apart. And then threw in different directions. Okay, so Uddhava, he's advisor of Krishna, okay. Vishnu Prabhupada Mantri. Then Krishna's Deita Saka. Krishna Deita Saka. He's like a best friend, like really... Ganesh Namita, like very intimate friend of Krishna. You will tell your minds, whatever, whatever you feel in your mind, you will tell to your very close friend. So that's why Krishna also, he tells his minds, like he's telling what he's feeling to Uddhava. Hey Krishna, go to, go to Braj and tell my news, like my message to my Vrajavas, especially to my mother who is suffering so much for me. Like Krishna sent Uddhav to Vrindavan. Tell my message to the gopis so that their separation 
will decrease. You see, Krishna would open his very intimate feelings to Uddhav. Then, Shishya Brihaspati, he was disciple of Brihaspati. He was not an ordinary person. He was the disciple of the Guru of the demigods. Brihaspati. So he had learned everything from Brihaspati. But one thing he, he hadn't learned. Which knowledge was left? What have you heard? Prem. He didn't learn about Prem. That's why when Bhagavan sent Krishna, sorry, when Bhagavan sent Uddhava to Braj, actually Bhagavan knew that Uddhava wouldn't be able to pacify the separation mood of the gopis. If Uddhava would go to Braj, then he would see the glories of the Prem. Understand? He would be able to join the college of the gopis. He would be able to take admission in the college of the gopis. Then he would be able to study very nicely in the college of the gopis. Then he would be able to get the certificate from their college. Like, you, like the diploma diploma or the certificate in the college, university of the gopis. Then Krishna thought, after he has this degree, then I will be able to speak very confidential things about Prem with him. So there are many reasons why Krishna sent Uddhav to Braj. Have you read his book? In my book, Brahmara Gita, is explaining about everything, isn't it? Have you read? You are not reading. But now it will come in Hindi and you can read it. It's written or not? Why Uddhav was sent? Bhagavan knows that Uddhav, by his knowledge, actually he cannot pacify the separation of the gopis. This is the special reason. Also another reason is that actually Uddha will be able to go, uh, uh, manifest the glories of the gopis in this world. Because everybody thinks, oh, Krishna loves the gopis, that's why he is always glorifying the gopis. People But Uddhav he established the glories of the gopis, especially Shemati Radhika's glories. But Uddhav was a little bit like intoxicated by the knowledge. He thought he would be able to do so much with his knowledge there. But when he came to Vrindavan, he saw the glories of the gopis love, Shemati Radhika's love, he became completely like struck with wonder and amazement like oh my like astonished like imagine somebody imagine someone in the bases of the Himalaya mountain and that person is with a hat so the person is look trying to look to the top of the Himalayas then his, his head is like going up, 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 and then his head falls down from his head. So all the same thing happened to him. He was looking the glories of the gopis' love, and his knowledge next to them was nothing. Not even, not even a mustard seed size. Like his knowledge was not even a mustard seed size next to gopis' love. So what is that verse? Mahisha Api Sudur Labam. He says this love is even rare for the queens of Dwaraka who are always with Krishna. Even they don't have this kind of love. 
Buddha was so amazed to see this kind of love. Oh, Prema can even reach this level. He didn't know. People of this world, they don't understand. Huh? Ah, Mahaprabhu with humility told, I don't have Prem. But actually this is humility. Those who don't have love, they think, ah, if somebody is saying they don't have, like, basically, what are they saying? Those who have love, they are very humble. Very humble. Like Mahaprabhu told, I don't have not even the smell of Prem in my heart. But those who don't have knowledge about love, they'll think, oh, they'll think, ah, Mahaprabhu doesn't have love because he's saying he doesn't have love. Like those who don't have knowledge, they don't understand about the humility, you know, of the Prem. And then Mahaprabhu, I think, told, who has love is the fish. Fish in the water, they have love because they cannot live without water. Without water, they flap. They like agonize, like they die immediately, you know. So this is love. You cannot live without the person. Beautiful meaning. In the Ramayana also we see. When Hanuman brought back news about Sita, when he found her, then Hanumanji came. And the monkeys, they were so happy when Hanuman came back. Ramachandra was in his tent. Ramachandra told to Sugriva and Jambavan, why the monkeys are so happy and like really like excited? Then Sugriva and Jambavan, they told Prabhu. <coughs> Probably, certainly Hanuman has brought some news about Mother Janaki. Ramayana Katha is so beautiful. Then, Hanuman met Ramachandra. Ramachandra was crying and suffering because in separation of Sita he was. And then, how many days have passed and he didn't have no, like any news about Sita, where was she, you know? So then Bhagavan Ramachandra met Hanuman in a solitary place alone. Then Hanuman told Prabhu, look, I met Sita, yes, I saw her. Then Bhagavan Ramachandra asked one thing. Hanuman, tell me please, you have seen my wife Sita. Was she alive or she was, was she dead? You just met her, so please tell me. Hanuman told Prabhu, why are you asking this kind of question? You think she might not be alive? Then Bhagavad Ramachandra said, look, feeling my separation from me, my father died speaking haram haram like calling out to me for me feeling separation from his son Dasharat Maharaj left his body feeling separation so Ramachandra told so and conjugal mode is higher than Vatsale Bhav so Sita has more love than Dasharat so how can Sita be alive? I want to know. So, did you meet her? She was alive or dead? Then Hanuman told, Prabhu, no, she was alive. But how was she able to continue alive? Because in Biraha, in separation, you cannot, you cannot tolerate. You cannot 
tolerate the separation. Hanuman told a beautiful verse. Then? Yeah, this is true. Majana she wants to give up her body, but she cannot. Why? Your names, your holy names, Rama, right? Rama. They are the praha, pahar, means the security guard. Your holy names are the security guard that are not are guarding the door and are not allowing the uh, life air of Sita to come out. They're always she's always chanting her holy names. And she's meditating in you and she's not thinking about anything else. This is the like just when the train is coming and there is a how do you say in English? A cancel? You know, that it's some like a not something how do you say? How to say English in data? Anyway, that thing that al doesn't allow you to go where the train is, like you have, like a, so there's two, like a, not like gates, not gates, but that thing in the middle, like, that doesn't allow you to go further. <laughs> so, the dhyan is this, like, like this bar that are not allowing to go further. And another point, her vision, she's always thinking only in your lotus feet. So the jantrita means what? It's locked. So the train is coming, but before the train comes, so they close the place and also it's locked and you cannot go to the train. So there's no way out. There's no way out. So this kind of situation in Viraha, they want to give up their body. They cannot tolerate Shamatirat is saying, oh my friend. I cannot tolerate. I want to give up my body. I cannot put up, put up with the situation any longer. Because when Krishna, she left for Mathura, he told the gopis one thing. He told the gopis. Krishna told the gopis, Radhi, listen to me. Today I am going to Mathura. Tomorrow I will kill Kamsa. Tomorrow. But the, the day after tomorrow I will come back. So they, they thought Krishna's word was were true. Because Purnamasi also told the gopis that Krishna is always telling the truth. He is always speaking the truth. So the, he will come back, yes. Okay, maybe he... He, he is going today, but he will come back the day after tomorrow. So with this hope that Krishna would come back, they were remaining alive. Understand? <coughs> because if Krishna would go come back and see that his friends were not there anymore, nobody was... If Krishna would come back to Vrindavan and see that no one is there, Krishna would be upset. So, just for the happiness of Krishna, they became continued alive. 
So in the Lalita Madhava book, it explains in details. If you read, you'll, you'll cry so much because it's really so beautiful. What is this crime? So much separation. Shmatriyata was feeling. She was like virahata, like fe- fever of separation, f- uh, fire of separation. So the Sakis, they made some petals of flowers, bed of petals, bed of petals. Then Shmatriyata would lay down these petals, bed, but immediately all the petals would dry immediately because of with the fear of her body. Fear, sorry, heat of the body because of the heat of her body. So every two seconds they needed to change, they had to change the bed of flowers again. Like if somebody has a fever, the person is like you, some people put some ice or some cold, uh, how do you say, cold pressure, compression, yeah, cold compression, like some cold cloth or something. With have you seen this picture? I imagine the Shamataratka, uh, the image of Shamata, the picture of Shamataratka laying on the bed of petals. Have you seen this picture? Then Shamataratka sometimes faints. Then she again, then Shamataratka sees a crow flying in the sky. So Shamataratka sees this crow and says, Are you going to Matara? So if you're going to Matura, just tell Matura this one thing. Just tell him one thing. Tell him that in if there is a cow herd, cow shed, sorry, if there is a cow shed and fire is, how do you say, it catch on fire, like this cow shed get, is on fire, what is the duty of the owner of the animals? So imagine if your cow shed is on fire. What do you have to do? First thing you have to, what do you have to do? All, like the, you have to open the gate of the cow shed. Cow shed. This is the first thing. Open the gate, and maybe some cows are also. They are bound, bound. Like some cows maybe are free, or some are bound. But those who are bound, you have to cut off all the ropes that are binding the cow. You have to free them all, like cut their ropes that which are binding, binding them. What is the meaning? So the ropes that are tying gopis necks is what? So okay, separation is like the fire that is burning braj. Dug, 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 like, how do you say, like repetando, like the fire is like burning and they cannot tolerate and the gopis are comparing themselves to the cows so this viraha fire is everywhere burning everything Shmatratki is saying and what is this rope that is binding their necks example of the cows she gave no? also bound so what is this n- neck rope this hope that Krishna would come the day after tomorrow this is their n- rope binding their necks. Because Krishna had told them, yeah, gopis, look. Huh? Ah, if Krishna would have said, I will not come back, then we would have already died. But when Krishna left, he told he'd come back the day after. Like the day after tomorrow. I'll come back then the day after tomorrow. So he will come. And if Krishna comes back and see that the gopis died, nobody's there, Krishna would feel so upset. So, thinking about Krishna's suffering, like that's why the gopis they continue alive. They tolerate their own suffering and they remain alive.
So how Krishna can be happy? So they are ready to tolerate all sufferings. They are feeling all distress and miseries just for the happiness of Krishna. This verse also explains as the Shiva Padaratam Pinastama. This is the highest definition of love. What is love? In this world it is not possible. That is why it is not possible in this world. The gain is they are so unfortunate. Verse 259, chapter 8. They are only like 1980. No, this is not, this is not. They are only eating dry things. Eat something which is like wet or like. Uh, so, like if you eat chapati, roti, you have to make some dal. To eat dal and roti. Like you eat chapati with dal, something like dry, chapati, and also something wet. Otherwise, you only. So without dal, how can you eat only dry chapati, roti? Or make some sabji that there is some rasa also, some liquid and taste. So you give a dry sabji and also dry chapati together, how to eat? What do you eat? Tell me. Dal, roti, chapati and dal. What is the meaning? The gain is. They don't have any knowledge. Of like dry knowledge only. So, verse is saying the unfortunate empiric philosophers taste the dry process of philosophical knowledge. Whereas the devotee regularly drink the nectar of love of Krishna. Therefore, they are the most fortunate of all. So the Rasika, the Buddhist, they relish Ras. So beautiful. Full of Rasamadhuri. So that's why I, everybody reads the Bhagavatam. Karmis, Gyanis, Yogis, Advaita Vadis also. Those who have dry knowledge, all of them read the, the Bhagavatam. But who can, but they cannot relish Rasamadhuri of the Bhagavatam. Actually, to be able to relish the Rasamadhuri of the Bhagavatam, you must read two books written by Rupa Goswami. Which books? Bhakti Rasamata Sindhu and Ujjwal Nilamani. You must read them to be able to relish the mellows of the Bhagavatam. Without reading these two books, actually, you will not be able to relish the Bhagavatam. Do you understand? The other day, I told about like what is Ras. Four ingredients mixing on the platform of Stai Bhav. So what is this? What is Vibhav? What is Anubhav? What is Satik? What is Vyabhichari? You should know. Then something can come. But also have only dry knowledge. And knowledge also is not enough also. Okay, you heard. What is Vibhav? You heard. Okay, you heard. Uh, Vibhav is something that uh, affects the heart. I don't know the proper translation. Okay. Two things. Alamban and Udipan. Alamban, two kinds. Asrai Alamban and Vishai Alamban. So this is knowledge. But what is it? Vishai Alamban is Krishna. 
He's the object of the mood, and the devotees they feel the mood. But sometimes there is the whirlpool of love, the highest limit of love. So Shemateratka in this moment becomes Vishayalamban. No, the Jugla Sarkar. So Rasa Bichar is also there. All these very subtle things. Jog, Sanjog, Biyog, many conceptions are there. We must study this. If you would know something, then I would be happy to speak. Like when somebody makes a question, then we are happy to answer. But if you don't know anything, then what can I tell you? Gurudev used to say. In the beginning, when Gurudev came to Delhi, Gurudev used to stay in their house. What is Somebody f- so in the beginning, so the person would to- told to Gurudev, Gurudev, in Maturam Vrindavan you tell high class Harikata, but here in Delhi you are not saying high class Harikata. Gurudev said, just like if you play the flute in front of the buffalo, buffalo will continue uh, eating his grass. He doesn't know. So Gurudev asked this devotee, okay, tell me what is Ras then? The d- didn't answer. Okay, so you don't know. How can I tell this high kata? If you also study everything, then no, I can speak. Okay, I tell one time. I explain to you what is vibhav, but next time I ask you, you don't even can g- not give an answer. Like I told about this alambanu deepan, two kinds of vibhav. What is udipan? Something that you see and it stimulates your heart. So beautiful. All these are Udipana's stimulation. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he wrote this kirtan with all these stimulations. So the devotees who have prem, the devotees who have bhav, they, they, their heart is stimulated by these things. Mahabhagavata only sees his deity everywhere and whatever he sees stimulating his moods also. The devotee who has prem, premik bhakt, is always happy. Ocean of bliss. So, if we we must study again and again these books because if you read only once, you forget. You must study again and again. Oh, how beautiful! How nice. So the dog is barking. Dog is barking. Example is given. Those who don't do bhajan, they are just like dogs barking. You know the shloka. Without any reason, unnecessarily, the dogs are bark, 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 bark. Beat him a little, then he will run away, then he comes back, start, continues barking. So those who don't do bhajan, Shastra explains, they are like dogs. They are also like pigs, like camels. Camels are eating the thorny fruits and they're actually eating their own blood because the blood is coming from their tongue because they're eating thorny fruits and they're thinking they're taking some nice thing but actually their own blood. So beautiful the Shastras. 
निरस ज्ञानी दुर्बला ज्ञान के The devotees regular drink the nectar of love of Krishna. First, you have, must have some knowledge about the scriptures. Then, slowly, slowly, realization. You must study. Study. Read. Study. You think listening is enough? No. You must study as well. Isn't it? Time's up or not? <coughs> In this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai passed the whole night relishing the mellows of Krishna Kata, topics about Krishna, while they were chanting dancing and crying, the night ended. So one devotee who has prem, when they meet each other, they are remembering and reminding each other about the Harikatas. Nakrup Sanatana also. In this way, right on the next day, the next morning, so, Radhamananda caught hold of the lotus feet of the Lord and spoke as follows. There is a variety of transcendental truths, the truth about Krishna, the truth about Radharani, the truth about their loving affairs. So, Brahmaji manifested from the lotus navel of Vishnu. He didn't know where to go, there was only water around him. He didn't know why he was created, nothing. First of all, Brahma thought, where have I come from? Then he decided to try to search the root of the stem of the lotus. He saw that was like he couldn't find any end to it. Then he came back. Then he sat on the lotus again. He thought, what to do? What should I do? Then he heard this song, the sound, to and po, ta and po, tap, tap. Like meditate, like austerity. So he started austerity when he heard these syllables. Tapu, tap. Then Narayana gave this um, uh, shakti in his heart, and when God Narayana gave him the Chatushloki Bhagavatam, four main shlokas of the Bhagavatam, original. So also the Guru gives four kinds of. Tata Siddhanta and Bhaktiras in the hearts of the disciple. Sorry, not for three. Hardik, Bhajik, and Alokadan. Yeah, he takes care of the disciple in four ways and giving this mercy in three ways. In three ways, Krishna Guru gives the Shakti potency to the disciple. In the heart, by his words, and Alokadan means by his glance giving with the glance isn't it Gurudeva look at me we say Gurudeva please give your merciful glance to us Kripa Drishti give your merciful glance this is the meaning of the word Kripa Drishti Kripa Drishti we sing or not? We cannot see God. But God. You, I'm blind. You please give me the darshan. How can I have darshan? Please, you make us have your darshan. You please catch me. 
cat keep me with you. Example is given. There was a small girl. She was going with her father somewhere. Then on the way, they had to cross. Once there was a small canal, they had to cross. One small canal, and you know the villagers, they don't like build a bridge. They just put like two bamboo sticks. Like they make like a r rudimentary like bridge with two bamboo sticks. Have you went to a village? No, you never even saw a village. You don't. Have you seen a village? Okay, in village they do like this too, because they of course the river is really small, right? So just cross this river. So the girl, she was holding the hand of his, her father. Understand? And she said, "Father, I'll catch, I'll, I'll catch your hand." Father said, "I, I will catch your hand, not you catch my hand." Father, girl told, "What is the uh, difference if I catch your hand or if I hold your hand or you hold my hand? What is the difference?" The main thing is just that we are holding hands. Then father said, "No, daughter, look, there is a difference. Your hand is not so powerful, so strong. Maybe if you are holding my hand, you may fall down. But if I ha hold your hand, it's not possible for you to fall down. Very, isn't it? Because the father has more power." Of course, more strength in her, his hand. So if he is holding the hand of her daughter, his daughter, then she cannot fall down. But the baby has not so much, uh, of course, strength in the hand. She can easily just, uh, her hand may fall off. Externally, we say, catch hold of feet of Nityananda. But it's only for no gener general people. Drida Kori Dharanita Pai, hold tightly to the feet of Nitai. So we say, hold tightly to the feet of Nityananda. So, sorry, this is not so that Guru Dev said for general conception, not for general people, general conception. conception. But the real subtle conception is like, oh Nitai, please you hold my hand. So one thing, Sadhana Vichar, general conception. And Bishes which are special, specific uh, conception. Bhagavan Narayana showed all the tattoo in the heart of Brahma. You have manifested all these transcendental truths in my heart. This is exactly the way Narayana educated Lord Brahma. So this is the way, like Guru is also doing the same. Externally they may be not, like, but internally they are doing everything, like giving the potency in the heart. Just like Vishwanath Chakravarti also gave all the potency in the heart of Baladev Bhidabhushan. Then he went to the great assembly and he defeated everyone. So just like Narayana gave this mercy in the heart of Brahma. Ah, oh, Gurudev also do with me then also, Gurudev. You are thinking this, huh? What you are thinking? Gurudev, please also do that with me, this potency in my heart. But what is saying the Bhagavatam? Snigdasa Shishasya. In the heart of the Snig, the disciple, then to this disciple, Gurudev will give all the Shakti. So your heart must be Snig, that means, means your heart must be pure spotless so you also must endeavor to clean your heart you have to clean your heart like it's raining it's raining also on the top of the mountain but the water is not staying there and it's also raining on the like floor it means you have to become a recipient to catch Gurudeva you do everything I will not do anything okay you do God gave my me mouth so at least you put the food inside your mouth. No, Gurudeva, you do everything, Gurudeva, you do for me. So we must have our chishta, your endeavors. Then you get the Shakti of Guru and Bhagavan.
But also it's not enough. Your efforts are not enough. Your efforts are not enough. So two fingers, you know. The two fingers. Every time Madhya Shoda, she was trying to bind Gopal. Always two fingers short. The efforts of the sadhaka and the mercy of Guru and Bhagavan. We must clean our hearts. Give up the duplicity and hypocrisy. You have to make your heart pure, pure, pure. Then the more the mercy of Guru and Bhagavan will come. There is no other reason. Ah, Guru Deva, you do everything. Guru Deva won't do anything, okay? You do all. Mahaprabhu gave two examples. Mark Kartne, the logic of the monkey, and Marjane. Markart means monkey. And another? Marja means cat logic. So in South India, Mahaprabhu gave these examples. Two logics. Ne. Markart, ne. Markart means female monkey. She's not holding her baby monkey. The baby monkey, he must hold in his mother. Hold, hold the body of his mother for walking. Even they say that if the baby falls down, mother monkey will not catch his baby, not lift him up. People say. Means you must do your efforts, endeavor, sadhana. And another point, marjane, this cat logic, the cat mother, mother cat, she is carrying her baby kitten cat. And in this way, the baby cat completely depends on his mother. So in Bhakti also we see. We must surrender completely. And also you must also endeavor. You have to study. Do your bhajan, sadhan. Krishna Balaram, do you understand or you are only sleeping? Krishna Balaram. He's only sleeping. His eyes are shut. You must study the Shastras. Then you feel so much happiness. So in the Shata Shata Upanishad, this look is there. Brahmaji performed austerities or not? Yes, do you think God gave all the potency in the heart of Brahma without any reason? Like, no, Brahma also did his austerities, like severe austerities, you know. Brahma also performed. So, tapo, tapo means do austerities. Brahmaji really, he did. Then, yes, Bhagavan gave all the tattoo in his heart. Verse 264. Those who are surrendered, like externally, you're not doing, speaking anything, but internally you're giving all the potency, the tattoo sedant, everything. And they manifest. This is what the bona fide guru is doing. What else? He's doing this. But how much are you able to? Like everything depends on how much you're surrendered. One example is given. Look. You know the boat. The boat is not made of any wood. 
actually it's cr to build boats you, you need special wood like not all kind of wood can become a wood a boat sorry so that wood when it's like raw maybe the that um, wood might sink but when you like uh, how to say um, how, when you I forgot the short Look, anyway, when you like po polish, polish, polish the wood and make boat with that wood, then that wood, that maybe that boat is able to even carry so much weight and many kilos, you know, like this. So guru is also like this, like polishing, polishing the word in English, polish. polishing the disciple, polishing. Actually, beating the disciple, like chastising a lot. Then yes. Have you seen somebody made a, making a note a boat? What have you seen? Jagannathapur is full of boats. You never saw how they make these boats. They have to take the wood, but then they like polishing the wood and many things. But like, for example, a ship, a ship can carry uh, has, uh, thousands of tons. So example is given. So you'll be able to cross yourself, like to float and also carry others on top of you. Like you know, there's so many storage. These ships have uh, cruises or thousand people, thousands of people. Have you ever uh, been in a boat? Like not boat, ship, like cruise or where? No, no, I'm not talking about airplane. I'm talking about ship. Ah, no, you sat in a boat, like small boat. But uh, okay, this is also nice. But Gurudev is telling, talking about like big, like ships, really like cruise. Cruise. When I go to Italy, in Sardinia, Sardinia, I've been in this kind of cruise, ten storage ship, cruise, big, gigantic. So in the middle of the ocean, there's the wind and everything, and in the movement of the boat, the boat, not the ship movement, the. And just like a, a room, really, there's a room there kitchen, like a uh, bed, everything is there. And when you sleep on the bed, there is also like some belt or something to hold you because the boat, the ship is always moving one side to the other side. So how this, I don't even understand how these gigantic ships, they are like on the ocean. It's like so big from there to here. How many engines are there in the under inside the, the ship? So everything is under like the machine places in, in under the boat, like under inside the ship, you know. It's but in on top, the, the passengers are like on top, in the surface of the boat of the ship, and they have they're in the swimming pool, they're even playing football, they're doing everything on top. But inside the ship, like in the engine machine, how do you say machine room or machinery room? So many engines are there to do, 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 do like this, but we don't even see. And the passengers are only on like very nice enjoying it. And Okay, so I gave the example of the wood that maybe this piece of wood maybe would sink in the water, but when you polish very nicely and like like you treat this wood specifically, then you can even make a boat with this wood, and then later on this boat made of that wood would be able to float in the water and also carry others also to float on the water. So the example is given. So yeah, you have to like polish and treat the wood shape the wood to make the boat so the duty of guru is also that first you must surrender first thing in bhakti you must surrender completely the more you are surrendered I'm not saying you're not surrendered, that's not it. But the more you percentage, the more the more you surrender, more you get the mercy. 
isn't it? That's like that. Maybe you'll take many lives, okay? But no problem. You're already wandering this material world from Ananta, unlimited billions of births. So one or two births is nothing. One or two births is nothing because we exist since God existed. So, and we are here. From unlimited time, we're wandering this world. So one, two, four births, come on. If it takes someone to four births, this is nothing, no problem. Take time, yes. You must do sudden. Without sudden, it's not possible. The more quickly, the speed on your bhajan, it will determine. Depends on the speed of your bhajan. Isn't it? Do you understand? You're understanding, right? So externally you're not seeing anything, but everything is like externally he's not telling you anything like Guru and Bhagavan, but inside your heart he's manifesting everything. So I told Hardik, Bachik and Alokda. Hardik was like this, Narayana to Brahma, he manifests in his heart. Or Bachik by words, Narada says, go and Bhakti will come in your heart. Like Bhakti will come in your heart. So then Bhakti comes because he said. So this is Bachik by his words. Then Alokdan means by his vision. Lakshukadev Goswami Pan. When Mahaprabhu went to South India, also by his darshan, all became Uttam Bhagavats. Only by seeing him, they became Ut Krishna Prem, with Krishna Prem. Seeing Mahaprabhu. So now he's Radamananda quoted the first verse of Bhagavatam. Tomorrow we continue. Manchakalpa. Thank you.